Man is, in the full sense of the term, a miniature universe. In him are all the matters of which the universe consists. The same forces, the same laws that govern the life of the universe, operate in him. Therefore, in studying man, we can study the whole world, just as in studying the world, we can study man. But a complete parallel between man and the world can only be drawn if we take man in the full sense of the word, that is, a man whose inherent powers are developed. An undeveloped man, a man who has not completed the course of his evolution, cannot be taken as a complete picture or plan of the universe. He is an unfinished world. As has been said already, the study of oneself must go side by side with the study of the fundamental laws of the universe. The laws are the same everywhere and on all planes. But the very same laws manifesting themselves in different worlds, that is, under different conditions, produce different phenomena. The study of the relation of laws to the planes upon which they are manifested brings us to the study of relativity. The idea of relativity occupies a very important place in this teaching, and later on we shall return to it. But before anything else, it is necessary to understand the relativity of each being and of each manifestation according to the place it occupies in the cosmic order. We are on the earth and we depend entirely upon the laws that are operating on the earth. The earth is a very bad place from the cosmic point of view. It is like the most remote part of northern Siberia, very far from everywhere. It is cold, life is very hard. Everything that in another place either comes by itself or is easily obtained is here acquired only by hard labour. Everything must be fought for, both in life and in the work. In life it still happens sometimes that a man gets a legacy and afterwards lives without doing anything. But such a thing does not happen in the work. All are equal and all are equally beggars.